you know, people pointed out to me and that the Catskills is on a par really at its peak in the 50s um, with Vegas, with Atlantic City, which was huge back then, and not just for, um, for comedy, the, the, those folks, but for really breaking, break, breaking ground in terms of um, uh, the integration of black acts and white acts and jazz and Louis Armstrong and Duke Ellington and Benny Goodman. I mean, my God, it, it, anybody who was anybody played there. And Seinfeld, of course, Jerry Seinfeld got his start there. There's, there's a Jack Godfrey over in uh, uh, Ellenville Way has been trying to set something up there for a, a museum of the Catskills f for a long time. And he's hoping and planning that if the Nevely gets it, uh, gets one of the casino licenses, uh, and that's a big if, um, he can set something up there. There were a couple uh, folks in Rock Hill uh, who were interested in doing a casino. Um, Robert Berman, longtime Catskill resident whose father, I believe, helped build the Concord. Um, he and a partner talked about perhaps applying for a casino license and doing a Hall of Fame uh, of the Catskills in, in their place. They never did apply. So um, maybe, but I, you know, except for that, that um, uh, possible museum at the Neville, I haven't heard really anyone talking about, you know, bringing back the glory years. Everybody's yeah. kind of looking ahead, you know. Yeah. I mean, you can't mention uh, the preservation of the Catskills. John Conway is a Sullivan County historian. You know, he has reams of stuff. Dorothy Shapiro, whose husband and family owned Sullivan's and her uh, department store, which somebody called Our Own Little Bloomingdale's, uh, which was near the old Grossinger's Hotel. She has files and files and files of stuff. Uh, Bernie Cohen, um, who, like Ira Steingart, um, uh, owned a printing company and advertising. Uh, he has stuff. Ira has just just postcards and brochures and everything. But there's no centralized place for it, and it's it's really it's sad. It's really yeah. sad. You know, there are also a lot of the people who really um, might have preserved it. Um, uh, no longer with us. Uh, when a lot of the hotels closed, the bigger hotels, it left sort of a bitter taste in some people's ma mouths um, because there were bankruptcies and money owed and layoffs and and um, not happy endings. Not happy endings. And so some people just wanted to kind of push it aside. Others didn't didn't realize. You know, you don't know what you have, uh, what you got until it's gone. Yeah. To quote Joni Mitchell. Um, you know, so, uh, yeah, I, and, and as time passes, I'm, I'm really afraid that there won't be a central location, um, you know, for this really remarkable era of American history.